Okay, our lesson for today is to find the general term or n term of the sequence given the terms. Okay, so this is for grade 10 math for the first quarter. Um, in this lesson, in this video, um, given the terms, then you're going to find the general term or the n term. Say for example, we have 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay. The general term is a sub n equals n plus 6. Okay, so that is our lesson for today. Okay, how to find the general term or nth term of the sequence given the terms? Okay, first we're going to recall your addition of integers. Okay, karamihan dito sa addition of integers, nakakalimutan na. Okay, recall lang natin ng konti. Okay, same sign. Pag sinabing same sign, pareho ang sign ng integers. Okay, pag nakita natin na pareho ang sign ng integers, i-add natin. And then, copy the common sign. Let's see, pareho ang sign yung integers. Salimbawa, parehong positive. I-add natin and then, kopyahin yung sign na positive. Or, kapag parehong negative ang integers, i-add natin yung integers and then, kakapi lang natin yung sign which is negative. Okay. So, next, different sign. Okay. Kapag different sign, umagkaiba ang sign ng uh, i-add nating integers. Okay. Pag sinabing different, again, magkaiba ang sign. Ano ang gagawin? Okay. Pag nakita natin ganun, susubtract natin agad. Okay, and then, copy the sign of the bigger number. Kopyahin ang sign ng mas mataas na number. Okay, we have an example number one on how to find the general term given the terms of the sequence. Okay, number one. 5, 7, 9, 11. Okay, our A sub 1 is 5. A sub 2 is 7, A sub 3 is 9, A sub... Okay, kung i-observe natin ang sequence, okay, ang pattern niya is nag add tayo ng 2. 5 plus 2 is 7, plus 2, 9, plus 2, 11. Okay, next solution, um, isusulat na natin agad yung A sub n. Okay, A sub n equals... Kung ang pattern niya is nag add ng 2, yun yung ilalagay natin. 2n. Samahan natin siya ng n. Okay? And then, let's try. I-substitute natin yung 1 for the first term. Okay? It becomes a sub 1 equals 2 times 1. 2 times 1 equals 2. Okay? Pero yung first term natin ay 5. So, ano ang gagawin natin? Okay, para maging 5 yung result natin. So, ang gagawin ko, magdadagdag ako ng 3. Para 2 times 1 is 2 plus 3 equals 5. Okay, check natin ang second term. Substitute 2. Okay, para sa second term. Okay, it is a sub 2 equals 2 times 2. Papalitan natin yung n ng 2. Okay? Kasi pangalawang term na yung nahanap natin. Okay. So, kung 2 times 2 equals 4. Okay. Kaya lang, yung second term natin is 7. So, ano ang gagawin natin para ang result is 7? So, again, what if magdadagdag tayo ng 3? 4 plus 3 equals 7. Okay, so that is your second term. Next, kung isa-substitute natin yung 3 for the third term, so it will become a sub 3 equals 2. Okay, 2 times 3, yung n, pinalitan natin ng 3. Okay, so 2 times 3 equals 6. Kaya lang, ang third term natin is 9. So, ano ang gagawin natin para maging 9 yung result natin? So, again, magdadagdag tayo ng 3. 
2 times 3 is 6 plus 3 equals 9. So, that is your third term. Okay, next. To find the fourth term, magsasubstitute tayo ng 4. So, now we have a sub 4 or fourth term equals, okay, base, base given pattern, we have 2 times the n, which is penalitan natin ng 4. So, 2 times 4 equals 8. Okay, but the fourth term is 11. Okay, so we need to add 3 to get 11. Okay, so therefore we have 5, 7, 9, 11 for the sequence. Okay. okay, therefore, a sub n equals 2n plus 3. Okay. Mag-a-add tayo ng 3 sa general term natin. Okay, so therefore, the sequence 5, 7, 9, 11, so the general term is a sub n equals 2n plus 3. Okay, next, example number 2. 12, 9, 6, 3. A sub 1 is 12. A sub 2 is 9. A sub 3 is 6. A sub 4 is 3. Okay? So, ang pattern natin is nag a tayo ng negative 3. 12 plus negative 3 is 9. 9 plus negative 3 equals 6. 6 plus negative 3 equals 3. Okay, again, the pattern is we add negative 3. Okay, next, this is the solution. So, sulat na natin agad yung a sub n. And then, um, yung pattern na negative 3, sasamahan natin siya ng n. So, negative 3, n. Okay, dyan tayo mag-start. Next, para makuha ang first term, substitute 1. So, magiging a sub 1. Equals negative 3, palitan natin yung n ng 1. Negative 3 times 1 is negative 3. Okay, so negative 3, but the first term is 12. So, anong gagawin natin para maging 12 ang result? So, kung negative 3 yan at 12 yon kailangan nating magdagdag ng 15. Negative 3 plus 15. Okay, balik tayo dun sa rule ng addition ng integers. So, kapag different sign, magsasubtract. So, since negative 3 and positive 15 ay different sign, subtract natin. 15 minus 3 is 12. And then, copy the sign of the bigger number. The bigger number is 15. So, that's why we have positive 12. Para makuha yung second term, which is 9, substitute 2. So, we have a sub 2 equals negative 3 times yung n palitan ng 2. Negative 3 times 2 is negative 6. Negative 6 yung second term pero positive 9 doon. So, again, mag-iisip tayo ng number na idadagdag natin dito sa negative 6 para maging positive 9. So, ang gagawin natin, mag a tayo ng 15. Negative 3 times 2 is negative 6. Negative 6 plus 15, dahil different sign, magsasubtract. 15 minus 6 is 9. Okay, and then, copy the sign of the bigger number, which is positive. Then, the answer is 9. We substitute 3 for the third term. Then, now we have a sub 3 equals negative 3 times 3. Okay, then negative 3 times 3 equals negative 9. Okay, pero ang third term natin is 6. So, ilan ang idadagdag natin dyan sa negative 9 para maging positive 6. Okay, so magdadagdag tayo ng 15. Okay, different sign, that's why we have 15 Minus 9. 15 minus 9 is 6. To find the fourth term, which is 3, we have a sub 4 equals negative 3 times 4. Negative 3 times 4 is negative 12. Ilan ang idadagdag natin sa negative 12 para maging 3? Okay, so that is 15. Negative 12 
plus 15, different sign, kaya isa subtract. 15 minus 12 is 3. And then, copy the sign of the bigger number, which is positive. Okay, and then, negative 12 plus 15 equals 3. Kung mapapansin nyo, doon sa nth term na binagay natin, or general term, which is a sub n, equals negative 3n, kailangan natin magdagdag ng 15. Okay, so that's why um, 12, 9, 6, 3, ang general term niya ay a sub n equals negative 3n plus 15. Okay, next, number okay, 3. Next. 3, 9, 27, 81. A sub 1, A sub 2, A sub 3, and A sub 4. Next, ang pattern niya is nagmumultiply tayo ng 3. 3 times 3 equals 9. Times 3, 27. Times 3 equals 81. Okay, so solution, rewrite agad natin yung A sub n equals, okay, so ang pattern niya is 3. Since multiply siya, uh, i-rerase natin siya sa n. Okay, naka-raise siya sa n. And then, try natin, substitute 1 for the first term. Then, a sub 1 equals 3 raised to 1. 3 raised to 1 equals 3. Okay, check for the first term. Next, to find the second term, which is um, 9, we substitute 2. Then, a sub 2 equals 3 is square. Yung n, palitan natin ng 2. So, 3 square means you multiply 3 2 times. 3 times 3. Then, it is equal to 9. Okay. The second term is correct. Okay. For third term, we substitute 3. Therefore, we have a sub 3 equals 3 raised to 3. 3 raised to 3 means you multiply 3 3 times. 3 times 3 times 3 equals 27. Okay. Next, substitute 4 for the fourth term. So, now we have a sub 4, okay, and then 3 raised to 4. Okay, pitalitan natin yung n ng 4. Then, you multiply 3 4 times. 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. Okay, again, 3 times 3 is 9 times 3, 27 times 3 equals 81. Okay, so kung mapapansin nyo, doon sa pattern na binigay ko, sa general term na binigay ko, we have a sub n equals 3 raised to n. Okay. Hindi na natin kailangang mag-add para makuha yung mga terms. So, ibig sabihin, uh, the general term a sub n equals 3 raised to n is okay na. Yan na yung uh, general term ng sequence natin. Okay, again. 3, 9, 27, 81, the general term is a sub n equals 3 raised to n. Okay, next example number 4, we have 4, 16, 64, 256. Okay, again, we have a sub 1, a sub 2, a sub 3, and a sub 4. Okay, the pattern is we multiply 4. Since we multiply 4, our solution now is a sub n equals 4 raised to n. Okay, 4. Okay, ito yung 4 na yan. And then, raised to n. Okay, so try natin. We substitute 1 for the first term. Therefore, we have a sub 1. Okay, pinalitan natin yung n ng 1 equals 4 raised to 1. Okay, so 4 raised to 1 is 4. Next, para makuha yung second term, we substitute 2. Therefore, we have a sub 2 equals 4 square. Yung n palitan ng 2. 4 square means 4 times 4. 4 times 4 equals 16. Next, to find the third term, we substitute 3. That's why we have a sub 3 equals 4 raised to 3. 4 raised to 3 means you multiply 4 3 times. 4 times 4 times 4 equals 64. To find the fourth term, we're going to substitute 4. So that's why we have a sub 4 equals 4 raised to 4. 4 raised to 4 means you multiply 4 4 times. So 4 times 4 times 4 times 
4 equals 256. Okay, if you're going to observe the general term, okay, hindi na natin siya kailangang dagdagan ng numbers para makuha natin yung sequence natin. Okay. Meaning, the general term a sub n equals 4 raised to n is correct. Again, 4, 16, 64, 256, the general term is a sub n equals 4 raised to n. Next, number 5, 2, 6, 10, 14. Again, we have a sub 1, a sub 2, a sub 3, a sub 4. Okay, if you're going to observe the pattern, nag ng 4. 2 plus 4 is 6, plus 4, 10, plus 4, 14. Okay, so this is the solution. Again, we have a sub n equals, okay, isusulat natin yung pattern natin na 4, samahan natin ng n. Okay, um, to find the first term, we substitute 1. Therefore, we have a sub n equals 4 times 1. 4 times 1 is 4. Pero ang first term natin is 2. So, anong gagawin natin para mag ang result is um, positive 2? Okay? So, since 4 yan, magbabawas tayo ng 2. Magma-minus 2 tayo para 4 minus 2 equals 2. So, i-check natin yung mga susunod na terms kung tama na nag a tayo ng 2 sa term. Okay, so, substitute 2 para makuha yung second term. So, second term is a sub 2, then we have 4 times 2. 4 times 2 is 8. Okay. Kaya lang, ang second term natin is 6. So, anong gagawin natin para um, ang result is positive 6. So, magma-minus tayo ng 2 para 4 times 2 is 8, minus 2 equals 6. Okay, next. To get the third term, we substitute 3. So, na, that's why we have a sub 3 equals 4 times 3. 4 times 3 equals 12. So, since ang third term natin is 10, magbabawas sa'yo ng 2. So, 12 minus 2 equals 10. Okay, next, substitute 4 for the fourth term. So, a sub 4 now is equal to 4 times 4. 4 times 4 equals 16. So, since this is 14, magbabawas tayo ng 2 para 16 minus 2 equals 14. Okay, meaning, yung general term natin na a sub n equals 4n, kailangan nating magdagdag ng negative 2 para hmm. maging tama yung terms natin. So, magiging a sub n equals 4n minus 2. 2, 6, 10, 14. The, ge the general term is a sub n equals 4n minus 2. Okay, so that's all for now. Thank you for watching. For more videos, search Matish, then click playlist. And this is my F FB account. For questions, clarifications, and corrections, please comment it below.